Oval Town versus Woking in the National League. So a return to Hewish Park for Woking manager Darren Saal to the club he managed before joining the Cards. A free kick for Woking. It's Casey over this. He puts the ball into the box. Ince then loops it back in towards Dakas. Dakas with the header, clawed out. Oh. And then the goalkeeper saves a low shot from Amond. Good yeah. moment there from Woking and then he took the lead. Yeah, really good work and uh, a chance, well, a chance Anderson missed. Anderson out for a, what looks like it's going to be a long injury. Gregor Cox has been out for a while. Daly and Wilkinson now picked up injuries. Brown suspended. They're big players as the bad day comes forward for Yeovil. He's in the box. Quick feet, flicks it across a Fisher. It's headed into the gloves of Will Jaskalein and straight at the goalkeeper. First shot on target for the home side. Great great opportunity there from Yeovil came from nowhere very direct I think it was almost direct from the keeper and a flick on Abadje got it went down the wing pulled it back and uh, the header was it was an open header but as you say it went straight to Yaskalainen Amon plays the ball across the face of goal falls nicely for Lofthouse oh. who buys it into the oh. back of the net out of nothing Woking take the lead <laughs> and that is Woking's 60th league goal this campaign, Kyron Lofthouse, the ball just fell at his feet in the penalty area. He slotted it home. Yeovil nil, Woking one. Well, seconds after Yeovil had a, a great opportunity there. And again, it was very direct. And it ended up with Amund, who, who played a lovely old ball inside. And it, came, it fell to Kyron Lofthouse. And he, he really had to hit it first time. And he did, and he hit it perfectly. For, I mean, from where we're sitting, I thought, oh, side netting. Into but... the squad and growing into his role. And here is now Dakers on the ball, sets it back to Ince. It's a long ball that's cleared by Bevan. Ball is in the Yeovil half. Dakers gets it under control, hits it forward for Amon. Can he latch on to this? He's in the penalty area, goes back to Dakers, controls it, shoots low, a yard wide of the goal. Good link up between the two Woking forwards and Kellerman at the heart of this. Record on a yellow already. Josh Casey plays it short to Lofthouse. Lofthouse on the corner of the penalty box, into the box, tries to get it onto his right foot, shoots, and it's blocked. Back to Wabuke. He slides it forward again to Lofthouse. Lofthouse whips it across goal, and it's out for a corner on the far side as the goalkeeper got a finger tip to the ball. Working. Yeovil looking a little bit rattled as they trail here by goal to nil. It's an in-swinging corner from Casey. Had the goal words cleared by the goalkeeper's feet he's going to go through his legs he shot them just in time blocked the ball still in the penalty area though chested down by Dakers volleyed then oh. by Ince what a volley oh. from Rohan Ince you will not see a ball caught better than that fired that towards the goalkeeper goalkeeper cleared another corner for Woking well that was great great football all round actually from both sides you know, firstly, Podrick Armand, ball game. Very much going yeah. for the quick early forward ball. He's either trying to get Agbadje in down the right or hit it up to the big front man, Fisher. Not getting too much luck from it, although they're coming forward now with Fotherington. He's on the corner of the penalty box. He plays the ball in towards the box. Wilkinson goes down, claims that ball, cuts out the danger. That was a good attack, actually, from the home side. It was it irrelevant up. at the moment as to where Woking will finish. I think it was about an 18 point difference. Yeovil coming forward with Fisher, gets a shot off. Easy save for the goalkeeper, fast start from Yeovil Town, Ian. Yeah, good work by he Fisher might, there. He might be tempted to shoot it. As Ian said, it is from a wide angle, so Young over this. He does shoot, and it's over the bar and out of the stadium. Stood here, my Young. View now. The drums are beating. He shoots, hits the wall, and out for a corner for Yeovil. Casey throws the ball down the left-hand channel. It's flicked on by a Yeovil player. And Yeovil's centre-half clears it. Then hit forward looking for Dakas. Dakas goes up, goes down in the box. Woking well, still have it. Goes back to Wabuke. Wabuke shoots, takes a deflection, and then the keeper did well to snatch it out the Get sky. It's OK to continue. And Smith rolls the ball out in front of him and fires it forward. Flicked on by Fisher, looking for the runner. Badge comes out, um, out comes Jaskalainen punches that out but he took a blow to the body when he was doing that so as we we're saying it's difficult to see from him but it is Lewis Simper on loan till the end of the season from Cambridge United the ball's fired forward though for Woking headed over the bar by Cuthbert so Lewis Simper on for his first minutes in a Woking shirt well done by the referee there 
Wabuke now coming forward, slides the ball into the feet of Dakers. Dakers in the left-hand channel. Has the ball at his feet, moving slowly, back heels it to Casey. Casey with the delivery, headed on by Amond. Didn't have enough power on the header. Cushion. Amond with the shot, that's blocked. Back out to Simpu, heads the ball down, tries to go past Young. He's pushed, referee not interested. Simpu comes back in, tries to win the ball off Young. Does well to delay the clearance. Yeovil do get it clear though. Casey with the header, but the Yeovil play is onto this. Forward coming Yeovil into the box. Good tackle there from Dan Moss. Got Ooh. down, slid, knocked the ball out of the path of Ola Waburu. Take this corner then for Yeovil. It's fired in with pace towards the back stick. Flicked on by Cuthbert, who didn't want to leave it in case there was a player at the back oh, post corner. Sprinting. So Young delivers the ball into the box. Headed clear by Dakers. Picked up by Jamie Record. He dinks the ball back towards the box. Headed across the face of goal. The header comes in. Blocked. McNerney clears. Podrick Amond collects the clearance for Woking. Can Woking get on the counter now? No. Amond loses possession to Olobaru. Oh. Must be said. Woking's Kellerman has the ball in the centre circle. Good ball through bodies to find Wabuke. Wabuke driving forward. He's dispossessed by Bevan. Yeovil hit a long ball forward looking for the run of Young. Young up against Cuthbert, he beats him. Young going forward, chips it over the goalkeeper and just wide, just wide. The ball rolls out for a Woking goal kick. Yaskarman did just enough to put Young off. Yeah, I mean, Young did brilliantly the there. Forward, they launch it down the line. It's flicked on, but there is the full-time whistle. Woking have beaten Yeovil by a goal to nil. The goal in the first half from Kyron Lofthouse. They hung on a little bit at the end there, Woking, under a lot of pressure, but they get three points.